The Southeast Super Truck Series making its first stop at Kingsport Speedway this season. Got off to a rocky start as seven of the trucks in the starting lineup got tangled up before they even completed a lap. Uh, you see the on the replay, the number 23 of Matt Light doesn't get going and just accordion style carnage. The number 12 car that's a 13 year old driver named Cole Glass and came out the worst for the wear. That's number 16, Caleb Presley, one of the series favorites. He's from the famous Presley racing family. Robert Presley, uh, his nephew. And there you see Glasson's car, truck, I keep saying car. Uh, he would return, but uh, substantially damaged, missing a lot of parts. You see him being pulled into the pits. Serious damage on that vehicle. On the restart, we've got Randy Porter to the inside. That's Tim Wallace to the outside, and a Kingsport Speedway veteran Wade Day on the inside of the second row. Wade Day, a longtime racer at Kingsport Speedway, former champion, many, many victories at this racetrack. Uh, you may have noticed on that initial start, the 88 was damaged. Oh, here we go, another spin. That's the number 84 of Tyler Worley and the 93 Taylor Nesbitt. Look for them a little bit later. They have another another meeting on the track that's substantially more troubling. Uh, but we see Porter and and Lawless up front with Wade Day hot on their heels. Day just biding his time. He had the fastest truck the whole night. And uh, some really great racing, especially at the beginning of the race. I wish I had two cameras because there's action going on all over the place. But I kind of focused on the front here. We see Wade Day making, taking advantage of the outside lane. Grabs the lead from Wallace. Porter in there trying to make it a three-way battle for the lead. And Day completes the pass for the lead. He never would relinquish the lead after this. And Porter to the outside of Wallace. And then uh, we see Lee Tissett. He's a Kingsport Speedway regular driving the 88 truck. He had to restart at the back after that first lap crash. He comes by and makes the pass on Wallace. Gets back into third place. He would come from back to front twice on this night. And we see uh, Caleb Presley, he came back out after that first lap wreck, but uh, he overheats. Apparently not getting enough air to the radiator due to the damage, and wisely brings out the caution rather than going in the pits. He didn't lose much laps, got the sheet metal off the front of that truck, and came back out. We're 28 laps in. Uh, we see that the 88 of Tissett, he's back up fighting for the lead again. He's, he had no power steering. Um, kind of gives Porter a little nudge, tells him he's there. Hello. I'm coming through. But they didn't have time to complete that battle because the caution does come out again for a debris on lap 34. And this is when it started getting a little crazy. Here we see the, the youngster, uh, Cole Glasson, back out. You know, I told you his truck was going to be missing some parts. And this is another interesting story. This is the number 17 of... Greg Bohannon, he wrecked in practice, his, uh, his uh, throttle hung, he started the race, stayed on the lead lap the whole night until the end, uh, again we're on the restart here, keep an eye on uh, Nesbitt and the Blue 92 and Cole Glasson, or not Cole Glasson, excuse me, Tyler Worley and the Black and White 84, uh, they're battling at the back end here, that blue, and, blue car and the Black and White car getting ready to have a little bit of a meeting and boom ran out of racetrack it's it's tight at Kingsport Speedway and those walls aren't do not give you're okay right
she just said it's racing, said it was a hard lick, and if you could, uh, oh my, see the frame and chassis on this uh, race car, you would see how hard a lick it was. Pretty doggone hard. Long red flag for that cleanup. Uh, we see the walking wounded here, I guess you'd say. Uh, car's missing parts. There's glass in. Presley's back out minus his front end. And then uh, Bohannon comes back around. He's actually still in the lead lap. Uh, Lee Tissett back in the pits. They're working on that, on that uh, power steering. He would restart at the back end again. Restart here. Wade Day. No, no problem. He uh, he had no problem the whole night. Uh, fastest car, obviously the most experienced on the track. Uh, and then Bohannon, we're we're close to the end of the race here. He's still in lead lap, looking at a salvage and a pretty decent finish, and his night comes to an end. It looks like he's got a fluid leak there, and he was done for the night. I think he ended up finishing. Eighth, salvage an eighth place finish after after a bad crash in practice. Of course, uh, it's a 75 lap race. We see uh, here comes Tissit again. No power steering, getting past Lawless for third. Another caution late in the race: the Glasson's door came off. Parts shedding from some of these damaged race cars. Uh, he would carry on. He came out about halfway through the race uh, after making repairs and salvaged a 10th place finish. Just a handful of laps back left and Caleb Presley finally gives up. Gives it up. Uh, he, he, he actually ran enough laps to finish 8th with all that damage. 17 cars started the race but as you see Wade Day, Randy Porter, Take the white flag. That's Lee Tissett behind them. Let me see you come into your screen here in just a second. And they take the finish, the checkered flag. Day, Porter, Tissett, Tim Wallace, and Dakota Slagle finish fifth. Now, how long have you been wrestling this thing with no power steering? Uh, since that big wreck, uh, I guess I caused it. Uh, we had a power steering pump go out, we pulled it off, put another one on, it didn't work. And uh, put the old one back on, we rode around with no power steering at the end there. And uh, just got to thank these guys for getting it back together. We got our lucky dog, and uh, I was able to figure out how to drive the thing on power steering. Randy, you looked more out, my man. That was a long one, wasn't it? It was a long one. We sat there a long time under that red flag. It was really hot enough for the Thank you, I'll get the guy here either. So, um, it'll get a little hot in there, but it's points to green. Blue again, we had a good race. Uh, they mean Wade were about a dental speed. I've been ahead of him and hopefully he's going to pass me. First time here ever, I feel pretty good about it. The guys with Peter Motorsports, Joey, Jimmy and all the guys, AJ, Josh, great job to come here the first time. And the runway, who's won countless races there, running wheels off the How'd you miss that uh, first lap pile up? Was on the outside to that thing? Try to get the reasons for start the race. Uh, yes, I was on the outside and been riding all day. It's like everybody on the inside road and slams up and then the leader for the whole man didn't take off the road or whatever. Yeah, I gotta thank uh, Jeff Meyer for giving the opportunity. The guys working on his truck here. Uh, we talked about it at the uh, 